Sarah Crudders is an astrophysicist and journalist who knows a thing or two or three or lots of things <laughs> about space. What do you make about this? Because really, she's the last person you'd expect to go up into space, isn't she? But why do you think that? She's already said she's had a lifelong ambition yeah. to go into space. She's always been passionate about it and yeah. she's got the money to do it. And I think with space travel, we've come a long way in 50 years since we first started going into space. And we're actually living in a time now where people can pay to go into space. So she'll become the second ever woman. The first was Anush Ansari in 2006 to pay as a tourist to travel into space. And Yes, it's costing a lot of money, £35 million. Mm. Most of us couldn't afford that. Um, well, next to yeah. none of us could yes, afford that. Yes, exactly. But the point is, just with aviation, it was for the rich, first of all, and then it became more mainstream and more people could afford to fly. And the same thing's happening with space. I mean, what we're seeing now in 1995 with the internet era and everyone thought it was ridiculous, it's the same thing we're seeing with space. So in the future, more people are investing in space travel, more people are investing in commercial space companies. So 13 billion has been invested in commercial space companies to take tourists up in the last decade. We're seeing a huge rise of people wanting to go into space and it is something which does sound ridiculous, she's going to go into space and mm. she's going to sing, but we're living in the space age and these things are happening. I mean, I say she's the last person you expect not to be patronising, but we had Commander Chris Hadfield in that piece and we've, <laughs> and had, him, we've had him sat where, <laughs> where you sat. And for his whole life, he has been at the top of his game and the training he's gone through and he was a top gun and everything. And now someone else can just stump up pocket change, 35 million quid, well, and go up. But isn't that great? Because the, throughout history, you had the pioneers who went first. And you think with the mm. first astronauts, they were the best of the best of the best. Mm. And now it's scientists and engineers. Okay. And she has to pass this health test. So it's not for everyone quite yet space, but it's for the average person, which means one day you or I or our children could go into space. Well... There are cheaper options right now, aren't there, to go near enough to yeah, space? Yeah, something which is happening, because obviously you've got companies such as Virgin Galactic, which will happen in the next few years, or X-Core yeah. Aerospace, but you've also got space ballooning trips. So there's a company out in Spain called Balloon and also one in America called Worldview. For £50,000, you can go to the edge of space. Still a lot of money, but more accessible to more people. And again, that cost will come down. You travel by helium balloon, which is tried and tested technology, okay. and you can see the Earth from space. So. Oh. It's getting there. Let's save up. We'll, <laughs> both, we'll both go. There you go. Sarah, thanks very much indeed. You're Good welcome. to see you.